He didn't want to come past that shade, did he? <laughs> no. Crazy thing. I'm telling you, that sun is, was, is glaring in that scope. And it was just like, that reason it took me so long to shoot, I couldn't speak and see. Well, yeah, sun's about to kill us here, so. We got some coyote down up here towards the edge of the woods. I'm gonna go up there and get it. Here it is, Zeke. Now, I couldn't see the thing where it's got down in this yellow grass. It's a female. I would have swore it's a male. It's a dry female. Dang, I... That a boy. What do you think about that, Zeke? Yeah, man. Boy, ain't no young coyote either. Teeth broke off in there. I mean, it ain't ancient by no means, but. Ain't no uh, young and either. And dry. <laughs> Pretty little petite head. I would have swore that thing was a male when we was watching it back here. We watched this coyote for what? Probably almost two minutes before we ever shot it. We just kept trying to make it. We first seen it right up here on the edge of the trees. And uh, the sun was shining, beating down on us. I don't know if that coyote could see us. He didn't want to leave the shade, though. We actually got to come on out with some pup three. That never would break his shade to come on down there to the call. It's about a, I say it's a 225 yard shot a anyway. Bit of it. Anyway, another coyote down. Thanks for being here with me, Zeke. Yeah, man. This was a mid-morning coyote stand that took place right here in the heart of the bluegrass. Had my good friend Zeke Nance back here running the camera, and we started to stand out with Canine Puppies 2 from a Fox Pro CS24C. Played that for a few minutes, nothing showed up, so we decided to howl on a mouth diaphragm. After that, we were switching back from Canine Puppies 2 and Pup Distress number 2. Finally, had a coyote come right up to the tree line and got to peeking around. Switched sounds a few times trying to get that coyote to commit, come on in. And finally, pup distress number three made that coyote break, run in for about another 30 or 40 yards, but it was pretty apparent that coyote was not wanting to leave the shade. We fired a couple shots out there, got the coyote down. Awesome hunt. Thanks for joining us on Tooth and Claw TV.